All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We are back in uh, Black, not Black, um, Final Fantasy 16 here once again, and we are going to make for Northreach Market, I believe. Uh, still searching for stuff, so let's go ahead and grab that real quick. The next part of Mid's little side quests here. Well, they're not side quests; they're actually main quests here. But yeah, it's Jill. She's building a cool ship. It looks like. Uh, where is Jill? That's a good question. There's talk that the glass gate flood has fallen. Keep them pilgrims nice and chill. Uh, here we go. Seems to be over here. Hello. Are those Pepio nuts? How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the Pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. Probably because she doesn't know what Pepe nuts are. I mean, to be fair, same. Up. You'll not find a bruised pippin in them. Fresh right. cuts. Come and get them. Let's purchase some. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Ah, oh, yes. Um, should I sell anything? I think we're good, but worth a shot. No, I think we're good, yeah. Uh, actually, no, I will sell a couple of these, now that I think about yeah, it. Yeah, now I'll fetch a good price. Thank Keep you, thank fighting you. the good fight. And then, let's also grab, so we got the garlic, let's get the pepio nuts. Looks like this guy sells some. Wait, Hopefully. don't touch anything. Yep. <laughs> if that's what you want, that's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Indeed. Let's well, see. Ever wants any more than all the grape. How am I supposed to make a living? Did you find everything? I did. Here. Take the garlic and the pepio nuts. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. Indeed. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Definitely. It's on your mind. Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? <laughs> was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Up, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Nice. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just. Oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's just. Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Alive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive.
Well, I suppose we best be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. Sweet. Please give me I a will. fast travel. You too. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alright, please give me a fast travel. Please, 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 please. Yes, thank you. So much. Save a good bit of time that way. Alright. What's up, Harpocrates? How's work on the shielding progressing, Harpocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. Sweet. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. All right. Let's get on with this. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to travel back to mid oh, here. Oh, Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. Likewise. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. <laughs> Sweet. Quest complete. Let's continue on. That should be the final piece, I believe, so... Oh, sweet, we got 500 billy points for that. Let's go. And some stuff we're gonna trade for Gil. Oops. I think I just took a picture, picture well, instantly. I better go and give Mid the good news, then. Not bad. Oh, sweet, we can fast travel to Mid this time. Let's go. Thank you. Alright, what's up, Mid? Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! You know, when I go into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> All right. Sometime later. Indeed. Just three more to go. I'm sorry. 
Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four Mithril engines, and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. <laughs> oh my gosh. You don't mean. <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to Thank them, goodness. I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? <laughs> Alright. Let's talk with her, I guess. What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black. We might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but... Where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? <laughs> All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um, you were going to visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> All righty, then. Let's go see him, I guess, then, shall we? The grave, at least. Is that the thing Tome's helped to build? Mid told me she was building a ship. Indeed. Let's talk to Otto first, real quick, looks like. Alright, Clive. Astrid. Mid finished sending half the Idaway troops in across the twins, has she? I swear, <laughs> that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Mid. I might still be able to catch her. <laughs> All right. We're going to chase after her then. Make for the four deck. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Oh, hello. Oh, Obelus, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Oh, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? <laughs> but anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelus. Don't mention it. <laughs> what tidings, Uncle? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, alright. Uh, my dear boy, my journey to Canvar Canver has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strong box with us, uh, but his considerable knowledge of the goings-on in the free cities, by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Um, or friend of yours. 
though I, for one, believe Miss Telemon's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canvarian's authorities will take kindly to the, th the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping in our door, which is why I pin you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep a watch on those who might mean our little fellowship ill, and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this propos proposal your full consideration. Your loving uncle, uh, By Byron, right? I think. Troubling Canva. Right. <clears throat> well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. Yeah, true. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? <laughs> it, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, <laughs> don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. <laughs> I'm sure she is. All right, let's go ahead and fast travel to here, and then I think we'll wrap up the video uh, pretty much once we're there. Unless I'm assuming there's going to be a mini cutscene here. Yeah. Or something. Sid's legacy, Central Storm. That was a sim. Sim so. R.A.P. What a legend. Oh, I'm assuming that's mids, right? She must have stopped by after all. Sid, I remember what you told me, but if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. So I brought Gav. No, just kidding. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If it had been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. And not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. As Fremen? May we join you? <laughs> Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. 
I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you, but we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. Goots. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader, assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> Wait, you're letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, <laughs> none. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And... Ooh. Glad to have you with us, Goots. <laughs> oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Buck, lad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? <clears throat> Sounds like we got some stuff in store for us. Did you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. Outlaw. Already. Shh. See, is there another cutscene here? Or we're just gonna continue on. All right. I guess fast travel here then, shall we? Sounds good to me. Letney's Cleft. Eastern Dalmykia. Dalmykia? Got the squad back together. Let's go. Sweet. Gonna get, go ahead and end the episode here. Onward. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it once again. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Talia. I'm glad to hear it. And Toggle helped too. The new boy. <laughs> Alright, yeah. And we'll catch you in the next part. See you there. Peace.